Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam. Today's episode, we're going to be doing another VST Instruments review. In this case, it is from a company called Audio Animals, and I discovered them a few days ago, and they make some really sick samples, some really cool VSTs. They do a whole bunch of stuff, and they have a lot of free content as well. So I thought, you know what? Let's try and discover some new sounds. Let's see if they're cool. And this caught my eye. It is a bongo... Uh, kind of VST instrument. They've also made a contact version of this. And they've also uh, released just the samples. So if you want just the wave samples, you can download that as well. So they give you a lot of options. And this is for free. So if you guys want to check that out, the link is in the video description. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But I just wanted to see if I can make a cool, uh, maybe like a percussive big room track while we review this. So at first glance, Really cool little instrument here. Um, this is sampling a bongo drum. And you have, a f right here, you can see here, you have this instrument list. So it looks like uh, this was maybe meant for other stuff as well. So here you just have like just one selection, the bongo. You have the key switch. We can change from like the palm of your hand to knuckles. Let's see here. So you can change that characteristic. And then you have the standard uh, attack, decay, sustain, release, the pan amount, the pitch bend. And this cool little button here, I like this. It's a cool little room reverb. And we'll see if we can use that to maybe make a cool little track. So what we're going to do is we're going to just throw in some percussion. I'm going to see if I can make a cool little big room track. Uh, just something simple, just kind of a little drop idea. And uh, we're going to go ahead and dra drag one of our big room kicks from Signature Sounds. Make sure you guys download that. And let's see here. Let's go with F. I like that F. So I'm going to hit that. Cut self so that the kick doesn't stack. And let's just make something really dope. So this will be our kick pattern. And let's see, I want to make something kind of like Kura, something maybe, you know, something percussive, kind of like, kind of like a four bar action. And let's see what we can do. So we'll route this to number one. This will go to two. And let's just start making some sort of beat. Let's maybe give it a bit of reverb. I think anytime you guys are making like a percussive type of thing, try and really focus on the groove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around the notes in like kind of cause like a weird kind of groove. We'll see what we can do with this. So kind of like contact, you also have this key switch, which it looks like it's changing um, the whole thing here. It's like switching this up, I believe, because if we hit G, we should be back on what the palm drum. Let's just make this detached. Yeah, so just a heads up, you can switch this uh, by also either selecting a note. So if you accidentally hit that note, just keep in mind, it's going to switch the key switch. Let me just see what this does in note. I really like uh, one of these. I had a more metallic sound. Let's 
cool. I like it. Uh, I just don't like that I can't stop the reverb. Um, but sometimes plugins are like that for a variety of reasons. But I just, you, you know, can't stop it completely. I got to kind of let it play out. I'll show you here. So let's go ahead. We'll attach a kickstart to this. And we are going to just process this a bit. Um, I just want to kind of drive the sound. So let's maybe just throw in some Camel Crusher. And I'm probably going to just bump up the compressor, make it a bit louder. Cool. And let's just see here. Let's make kind of like a variation so we can make that full four bar. I'm really liking the sound of this, guys. I really recommend you guys to download this and find what works for you. If you want the VST, I like the VST. Um, I haven't tried the contact one, but I really like this VST thus far. Let's see if we can do the pitch bend. So the pitch range, it looks like, uh, is this two octaves or maybe it's just two semitones? Let's see here. Uh, whatever it is, it's sounding cool. So what you can do is instead of creating the automation clip, I used to do this a lot back in the day. I hit edit events and edit events you can Basically, you have a window within a window. You have a pattern window. And um, this pattern window, I'm going to put it at right here, zero. But I'm going to kind of go down, slide back up. It's useful if you want to do crazy stuff. And I think I'm going to make a separate video because you have some really cool controls in this menu for your automation. It sounds kind of weird, but let's just see what this sounds like now with the kick. And uh, let's just throw on an EQ on there. I just don't want too much low end. So let's just kind of clean out maybe around 120 hertz. All right, let's see how this sounds like with the kick. Who knows? Maybe switch up the key. I really love this uh, G Sharp plastics uh, key switch key. So nice. Like that sound is so cool. Really dope sound. Uh, so I'm just going to rework this and I'm going to let you guys download this FLP. And uh, let's just do kind of, I'm not really happy with this, what's going on there. So let's just quickly make this one a bit juicier.
just something and you know these are not perfect but we're just kind of messing around here i'm not really concerned about the exact value oh sick so let's see how this sounds like uh i'm just going to keep this on the same key switch because uh, I, that's kind of my favorite right now. this kick a little bit more. This is a trick I like to do a lot sometimes is put a fruity fast LP, which if you guys don't use is a just a quick low pass filter. And I'm just going to shape the kick. That's unfortunate so it looks like you can't automate some of the knobs uh so in that case probably it might be a good idea to try the contact version but let's just give this a little final uh, tweak i like this uh the bongo sounds very like it sounds like a really well sampled bongo. Um, there are some that are not that great and I, I wish I could automate these knobs. I'm just gonna try again, like, let me see here. I move the attack uh, and there's no parameter. So that's that's my only gripe. Uh, how would I rate this? I think I would give this maybe like a solid three and a half, you know, three, I think where it could be better would be definitely the, the VSC instruments. It's a bit lacking, but it's completely free. so. Can't really complain there. Uh, really, would I recommend this? Definitely. I'm definitely going to try to use this more. Um, I really love the sound of the bongo, and I think it can really give good elements. I definitely I excluded the tom because it's too much clashing of percussion. And um, just kind of messing around, and this is cool. So that's really nice. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this, and I'm going to let you guys download this FLP in the video description. So check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. We got some more samples lined up for when we hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.